Welcome everybody to the no pressure snap cell overview. It's today, it's right now. That's well, let's let's get into it. This is Matthew, Chief Marketing Officer at Trade Pending. I'm joined by Sean of Trade Pending Snap Cell. Sean, welcome. Thanks, Matthew. Excited to be here. <laughs> yeah, we're happy to have you. Sean's a new addition to the team as a part of the Snap Cell acquisition. We'll talk about that in just a second. And Sean, we'll have you introduce yourself here before we, we hand things over to you. As we always do, we are recording this. We will share it out afterwards. If you have questions as we go, throw them in the q and I will field those for myself and for Sean. And if we don't answer it, we'll get to them at the end. All right. We're teasing this today. The registration link is not live yet, but we are hosting the Unreal Awards. This is an unusual contest for salespeople where the winner will receive this giant silver trophy. It's one of three. They also get a $250 Amazon gift card and bragging rights for a year. And we've got three categories, craziest trade-in story, craziest test drive, and things he said to a customer that you probably shouldn't have. Uh, we're looking forward to this because we've already heard some wild stories. Link for this is coming soon. Stay tuned. Moving on. All right. So we're here to talk about Snap Cell. Yeah, trade pending, we announced that we acquired them a few weeks ago. So why did we do that? Well, our mission is simple automotive. And well, what does that mean? It means we are trying to bridge that gap between all the information consumers want and all the information that dealers have. And our products have done a pretty darn good job of that. I do say so myself, admittedly biased. We take information consumers want about trade-in, valuations, payment estimates, and we the dealers have, and we present that to consumers and dealers in exchange get that lead. Well, a piece that's been missing from that has been one of the most important forms of modern communication, and that's video, right? So across sales, across service, it makes really a ton of sense for us to bring snap sell into trade pending because now we're bridging that gap with one of the most effective means of communication there. And you'll see that I'll let Sean do all the, the talk in there. And <laughs> we're just, I can say we fit together like peanut butter and jelly there. All right. So enough talking from me, Sean, I'm going to stop sharing, hand it over to you. <laughs> Please introduce yourselves and, and welcome again. Thanks, Matthew. Yes, my name is Sean Yates. I am a senior business development uh, executive with SnapCell, now with Trade Pending. Really excited to be presenting to everybody here. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, I have been with the team for close to four years. Uh, we did really uh, start moving into the dealerships. I think it was in early 2018 uh, with Brent Williams, our CEO. And I came onto the team in, I think, September of 2019. I have made contact with probably every one of you on here uh, or anybody watching. I've, uh, I've been with the team for about four years and uh, I've done a lot of presentations and showing stores how to communicate more efficiently with, uh, with video. Um, SnapCell is in, um, I'll show a store map in a minute, but we are helping a lot of people with that communication aspect but this is gonna help you sell more cars as well. There's a lot of trust and transparency in video. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna just share my screen and I'll dive into a quick presentation as to how this works, how it will help the dealership. Um, how many, sure. How many? a question for you, how many presentations do you think you've given over four years? Just take a wild guess, I'm curious. Uh, probably over a thousand. Yeah, and this one's probably my biggest one. Uh, again, it's being <laughs> recorded and going to be shared with all of our trade pending customers. I'm really excited about that. But so no pressure for uh, everybody yeah, on the phone, no, but lots of pressure, no pressure for you. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, no, don't yeah, don't I, screw it up. And normally, I can have a great interactive presentation asking specific questions as to um, what CRM are you on, how has your lead process worked, and that carries my presentation a little further. But this, um, hopefully, I'm polished enough for this share, but. <laughs> Thanks. You're, you're doing. You're doing. I'll, I'll be your. All right. I'll be your. All right. Party Thank you very much. Uh, so here in my presentation, a little bit of fluff. I I really don't dive into this too much. Obviously, you know that video is going to help you sell more cars. This is going to allow you to have a lot of trust and transparency, showing the uniqueness of used vehicles, showing the personality of your salespeople. It's super simple, very explanatory, in, in saying that video will help. Uh, we're really big in the mechanical upsell as well. You're able to, again, show trust, transparency, what the vehicle actually needs. Uh, doing walk around, showing the brake pads being at two mil, rather than calling a customer and trying to explain what a flux capacitor is, 
uh, this again allows you to have uh, a better communication with your, they can approve the work orders directly in the video. That is something I'll touch on in another presentation. Uh, we're really big into reviews right now. I know dealerships are pushing for Google and Yelp reviews. Uh, with SnapSell, you can create a video. You can ask for specific reviews. You're going to be able to get a lot of great feedback. Uh, general managers can create like a red phone type video. Hey, thanks so much for coming in today. Really appreciate the opportunity. Did you buy? Did you not? Why? That video only needs to be shot one time. You can make it part of a mandatory process that gets sent out to anybody that leaves the showroom. And you're going to get a lot of great feedback from your customers just with that one video. Um, all of our videos can connect with anything the kids are using, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. I mean, these videos can be thrown up anywhere and reused over and over again. And we are all about customer satisfaction. Obviously, that is a big process in your sales. This year uh, is what you're going to see on your cell phone. So it is an app. You download it. It takes up no room at all. All the videos are stored in SnapCell. They are protected. It's TCPA compliant. Anything and everything you do in SnapCell will be stored in it. It does not stay on the salesperson's phone. They can download the videos if they wanted to, but it just gives you a huge level of protection if someone quits or gets fired or whatever. Everything will stay in the dealership. All of that customer information also stays within the dealership. What's great about this, these videos can be reused. So my videos from 2019, uh, I could use them over and over again. Uh, if you have maybe a, a directions video, or if, again, that ask for a review video, you label it, store it in your library, click of a button, you can send it out to every single customer or any customer um, very simply. If I used videos from four years ago, I would have less gray hair and then they'd show yeah. up and be like, <laughs> you're not the same person. I, I do look at them just to, yeah, it's big changes. <laughs> uh, this is what the customer sees. Uh, so it's completely customizable. This video will hit that customer in both ways, always cell phone, email. Um, you can send it to them in, in, in those directions, dealership decals on it, call to action buttons, call, email, text. Those buttons will do and say whatever you want them to do and say. We do integrate with Roadster, trade pending. You can have buttons do things on here and edit them as you go along. It's really, really simple to send them. Uh, one of our biggest features is our editable feature. It's uh, It allows you to pause and record. It makes it super simple for salespeople to shoot video. It's not like doing something from your cell phone where you have to be scripted for a minute and a half talking about the vehicle, making sure you don't flub on your words or whatever. This allows you to introduce yourself, uh, you pause, flip the camera around. I'm just going to show you a bit of this. I won't make you watch the whole thing, but you'll get the idea. And then I'll show you from my phone. of the e-tron that you are interested in. I know you can't make it here until Saturday, but let's have a quick look. So you're looking at Audi's brand new e-tron SUV, and it's in the color that you are looking at. How beautiful. It has the level two charging system, and also it's compatible with the level three charging system. So you can see system, here how it transitions. Uh, the all new I am gonna Etron comes bump with it ahead a little bit. I won't make you watch this whole example. Storage space here. Just a talking point at the end I want to catch. Another great feature is that you can check the status of your range from your smartphone, and you can also control the heating and cooling as well ahead of time. So I'll go over that uh, again in more detail when I see you Saturday. Thanks again. And so it cuts off on purpose as part of my presentation. Um, that last part there where she misspeaks, there is a go back button that I'll show you when I show from my phone. It allows you to edit it on the fly. Again, just making it really, really simple to clean up the video. You don't have to wipe the whole thing out and send it off to the customer. And those transitions, those cuts were really clean and simple. Yeah, just a, it's just a little pause record button. I'll show you on my phone. And that just gives me a good segue to get onto my cell phone. So that video, uh, when it is sent to the customer, it'll hit them in both ways, uh, cell and email. Uh, we do integrate with uh, the big CRMs, eLead, VIN, uh, dealer socket, and I'll explain a little bit about those integrations in a second as well. And I've got an explainer video I'll share, but let me just share my screen on my phone and turn off all my weird pop-ups. So let me just show you what that looks like. So here's SnapCell, giant record button there in the middle. I can click the button here. And there we go. Don't mind my green screen. Hey, Matthew, 
it's Sean. Uh, super excited to do this presentation for you and everybody else. I can stop recording. I can flip the camera around. And this is where your team would do the walk around of the car, point to different aspects of it, stop, come back to myself. Uh, here, I normally say something inappropriate while well, it's a rate. Um, Recording here just to show you how easy it is to erase the arrow in the top right hand corner. So you have that editing tool where if you don't like what you said, you can erase the last clip and then continue speaking on. We also have the ability to add in content. So if you do have a superstar on the team that maybe ran out to the vehicles on a Saturday, made some great content, um, all your team needs to do is just say, hey, it's Sean, Matthew, here's the car you want to see. And I can hit the plus button. And I can add in any vehicle video that's ever been created if it's marked as shareable by the team. So this is great, again, for those reviews or for uh, maybe somebody has made some great content out on the lot. Uh, let me just go into my snap cell library. And I'll that's great because here. like, if you have repeatable things, you don't have to make them fresh every time. It's, it's a great way to scale up the view video usage in the platform. Yeah. Um, it, and there's many other ways to use it, I think, with, with adding. If you've got like I said, TikTok or YouTube stuff, or maybe something from the manufacturer, you can drop in some professional looking content in there as well. And I'll end the video here. So that's it. I clipped together a little video. Um, I'll call this a sample video. Um, we do have a bunch of templates you can set, set up to send out to the dealerships as well. So it's a response to an inquiry. And then Matthew, I do have you in here, I think. Let me just pull it from my contact. That's me, number three, right there. All right. Um, so we'll pull forward from VIN, from Socket, from eLead, anything uh, in any of those big CRMs. It'll pull the customer's information, their cell number, their email address. We do integrate with your inventory feed as well. So I'm just going to drop a car in. You only need to type in the first few digits of the stock number. It'll populate that. So that's it. Video's ready to go. Save and send. Now, what's great about this, customer does not download anything. Uh, they're going to get it in their email. They're going to get it in a text format. And as soon as they click on it, it will play on their device. Now, as soon as they click on it, we do have a Big Brother feature as well. It will notify me right away that the uh, video has been watched. And there it is. I'm notified right away that it's been watched. So I can go in here and I can say, hey, have you watched? Knowing that Matthew has clicked on it. This text message will show up in VIN, in Socket, in eLead. Uh, we, we can connect afterwards to find out if we do have a hard integration with your CRM. But this just makes it super, super simple for all of your salespeople. Everything they do in SnapSell will push into those three major CRMs. Any videos I've ever created, they're all going to be stored here. Really easy just to click the dots. I can send out the same videos over and over again. And any cu customers I've ever communicated with, they will be listed here as well. So super simple, super reliable, really easy to create fresh content and reuse content uh, with uh, the cell phone app. Now I'm going to switch to the dashboard quickly and just show you what that looks like as well. Um, normally during my transition, I ask if there's any questions. Matthew, do I have anything I need to touch on while I'm switching? Oh, you're doing great. We'll skip uh, my made up questions for now. All right, I'm uh, just going to share my screen. So in here, uh, every dealership uh, will have their own personal dashboard. This is track how many videos have been sent out. This will track how many have been watched. This will also track how many vehicles have been sold. We've got a lot of strong analytics with this. Um, this is mine. So every salesperson will have their own reporting. Um, my customers list, I can record videos. I can upload videos from here. And let me just go into the reporting. So for the month of August, it'll tell me how many I've created, how many have been watched. It tracks your deliverable receipts as well. Um, going into my customers list, these will be the leads that I received for either VIN or Elite or Socket. It tracks all those as well. And here's Matt. So everything I did from my phone, I can do from here. Hey, are you coming in today? This is from my desktop, but this text message will go right to Matthew. And it will show up into those CRMs as well, automatically. No copy paste, no drag and drop, nothing like that. It'll all go right into the CRM tomorrow. Perfect. Any videos I've ever created, they'll all be stored here. 
I can copy them, drag and drop them into the CRM. We do have a Chrome extension for your CRMs as well. We can drop into um, that. And then into an active dealership, uh, this will show you the month, how many videos you've sent out, how many vehicles have been sold. You can dive into this deeper as a manager, as a sales manager, you're able to see any text communication between the salesperson and the customer. You're able to see any videos that have been sent out. So I can see here, looks like introduction videos. You can dive into these a little deeper as well. And you're able to see the actual video. Uh, landing pages are completely customizable. Maps, if you wanna do like ask for reviews, you can have little videos in this as well. Um, but really, really simple to create easy, fresh content. Anything you can text, anything you can email, you can send in a video. It's going to have a lot more trust and transparency with this. Now, I wanted to quickly show what it looks like in an integration. Um, I do have a broad uh, video. It's three minutes, but um, it will give you a great example as to how this pushes into your CRM. I know that's very important for a lot of the dealerships. And it does um, hammer the point of how easy this is. Dealership gets a lead, notifies the salesperson, salesperson goes out to the car, hopefully shoots a great video of the vehicle, and it all will push right into the CRM. No copy paste, no drag and drop, nothing like that. So here is a quick explainer video. Let me just share my screen again. looks like. So there's a couple things that happens. First of all, all of the internet leads from your CRM come into SnapSell. So you can see these populating here, the ones that have received a video and the ones that are still awaiting a video. And also we will check the CRM to see who the assigned salesperson is. So you can see, for example, Mitch is assigned to Isaac. Now, if I go down to Jeff, Jeff is unassigned. I can click in here. And we can see that the CRM tried to assign it to someone named Christina, who isn't a SnapSell user. So if she were added, that would be assigned to her as well. Now, moving on, whenever any activity in SnapSell happens, that activity is going to be reflected in the CRM. So for example, this uh, video was sent by Cody to Guillermo. If I look in VIN Solutions, now it's going to look similar in eLead or PBS or Dealer Socket. But here I'm showing Vin Solutions. You can see the lead, Guillermo. If I scroll down, I can see all the activity for the lead, including SnapSales activity. So I can see at 12.08, the video was delivered. At 12.30, it was watched. And at 12.36, it received a response. Nice, be over this afternoon to pick it up. Perfect. Okay, now the- So just to pause it here uh, and- to again, hammer the point. Anything that you do in SnapSell will push into those CRMs. Every video sent, the watch receipt, any text messages back and forth. It just makes it really, really simple for those salespeople. If they're too busy or too lazy to go in and put their proper notes in, this does it all for them. And any of that text message back and forth, this is going to give management that level now of protection with TCPA, but also with knowing maybe that salesperson was out sick or maybe they're, they're off today and the customer's blowing up their phone, you're going to be able to see all of that and, and respond to that customer in a timely manner as well. I love that so because, that's it, yeah, it's something that we hear a lot is dealers don't want ADD. They don't want another damn dashboard. So uh, the more that data gets in the CRM, just the easier it is on, on their lives. Yeah. So, and that's, that's it with the CRM, really like everything that you do in this will push into this. Um, the integrations with uh, the inventory feed, uh, we're working with trade pending now to get buttons turned on with our videos for that as well. Uh, I know we have a couple new cool features coming out. So customers will possibly be able to make videos of their cars as well to send to the dealership, but lots in the pipeline. I don't want to get too ahead of myself. I'm really excited, but that's just the broad overview of SnapSell. I can dive in deeper uh, uh, and show more, but Matthew, I hope that was enough to, to get people oh, excited. No, about yeah, our that partnership. was absolutely great. Yeah, wonderful. <laughs> okay. uh, Thanks. So we'll take any questions. We'll we'll uh, chatter here for just thirty seconds or so, and uh, in the meantime, in the meantime.